Hello, welcome to this Control Web Panel tutorial. In this video, we're going to take a look at the SysStat System Activity Report in the CWP Admin Panel. To access the SysStat module, you can either open the SSH Services menu in the sidebar and select SysStat SAR, or in the search field, you can simply type SAR and the option is instantly filtered for you. Click this to go to the System Activity Report module. The SysStat module opens with a set of colorful animated graphs. You can select the Filter By drop-down to select daily data files for a specific date, or leave it for today's data. To focus your data set, you can also specify the start time, and click Show Statistics to refresh the results. You can filter the animated pie chart results by deselecting any usages you wish to disregard. Below, there are a variety of tabs that let you see activity details for CPU, memory, system swap, systems paging, swapping, systems queue, I.O. and transfer rate, systems network, and context switches. Under the CPU tab, we see an activity summary, including percentage of CPU utilization and times for minimum and maximum activity. Percent user indicates the percentage of CPU utilization that occurred while executing at the user level, that is, applications. Percent nice is the percentage of CPU utilization that occurred while executing at the user level with nice priority. Percent system is the percentage of CPU utilization that occurred while executing at the system or kernel level. Percent I.O. wait is the percent of time that the CPUs were idle during which the system had an outstanding disk I.O. request. Percent steal is the percentage of time spent in involuntary wait by the virtual CPU while the hypervisor was servicing another virtual processor. Percent idle is the percentage of time that the CPUs were idle and the system did not have an outstanding disk I.O. request. Below these summaries, there is a detailed chart that allows you to view and sort the data by time, CPU, percentage user, percentage nice, percent system, percent I.O. wait, percent steal, and percent idle. Under the Memory tab, we see Activity Summaries for KB Mem Free, which is the amount of free memory available in kilobytes, KB Mem Used, the amount of used memory in kilobytes, calculated as total installed memory, KB Buffers, the amount of memory used as buffers by the kernel in kilobytes, KB Cached, the amount of memory used to cache data by the kernel in kilobytes, KB Commit, the amount of memory in kilobytes needed for the current workload, this is an estimate of how much RAM or swap is needed to guarantee sufficient memory. KB active, the amount of active memory in kilobytes, that is memory that has been used more recently and usually not reclaimed unless absolutely necessary. KB inact, which is the amount of inactive memory in kilobytes, that is memory which has been less recently used, it is more eligible to be reclaimed for other purposes. And KB dirty, which is the amount of memory in kilobytes waiting to get written back to the disk. Below these summaries, there's a detailed chart that allows you to view and sort the data by time, memory free, memory used in both kilobytes and percentages, buffers, cached, commit in both kilobytes and percentages, active, inactive, and dirty. Under the system swap tab, we see activity summaries for KB swap free, which is the amount of free swap space in kilobytes. KB swap used, which is the amount of used swap space in kilobytes. And KB swap CAD, which is the amount of cached swap memory in kilobytes. This is memory that was once swapped out, then swapped back in, but is still in the swap area. If memory is needed, it doesn't need to be swapped out again because it's already in the swap area. This saves I.O. Below, there's a detailed chart that allows you to view and sort the data by time, KB swap free, KB swap used in kilobytes and percentages, and KB swap CAD in kilobytes and percentages. Under the Systems Paging tab, we see activity summaries for page page in per second, which is the total number of kilobytes the system paged in from the disk per second, page page out per second, which is the total number of kilobytes the system paged out to disk per second, Fault per second, which is the number of page faults, both major and minor, made by the system per second. 
Major faults per second is the number of major faults a system has made per second. Page free per second is the number of pages placed on the free list by the system per second. Page scan K per second is the number of pages scanned by the K-swap daemon per second. Page scan D per second is the number of pages scanned directly per second. Page steal per second is the number of pages the system has retained from cache per second to satisfy its memory demands. And VMF is a metric of the efficiency of a page reclaim, which is calculated as page steal divided by page scan. This field is displayed as zero if no pages have been scanned during the interval time. Below, there's a detailed chart that allows you to view and sort the data. Under the swapping tab, we see activity summaries for P swap in per second, which is the total number of swap pages the system brought in per second, and p swap out per second, which is the total number of swap pages the system brought out per second. Below, there's a detailed chart that allows you to view and sort the data. Under the system's queue tab, we see activity summaries for run queue size, which is the run queue length, that is, the number of tasks running or waiting for runtime, the p list size, which is the number of tasks in the process list, load average one, which is the system load average for the last minute, load average five, which is the system load average for the past five minutes, and load average 15, the system load average for the past 15 minutes. Blocked is the number of tasks currently blocked waiting for IO to complete. Below, there's a detailed chart to view and sort the data. Under the IO transfer rate tab, we see activity summaries for TPS, which is the total number of transfers per second that were issued to physical devices. RTPS is the total number of read requests per second issued to physical devices. WTPS is the total number of write requests per second issued to physical devices. BRead per second is the total amount of data read from the devices in blocks per second. And BWritten per second is the total amount of data written to devices in blocks per second. Below, there's a detailed chart to view and sort the data. Under the Systems Network tab, we see activity summaries for iFace, which is the name of the network interface for which statistics are reported. Rx packs per second is the total number of packets received per second. Tx packs per second is the total number of packets transmitted per second. Rxkb per second is the total number of kilobytes received per second. Txkb per second is the total number of kilobytes transmitted per second. Rx comps per second is the number of compressed packets received per second. Tx comps per second is the number of compressed packets transmitted per second. And Rx mcast per second is the number of multicast packets received per second. Below, there's a detailed chart to view and sort the data. Under the context switches tab, we see activity summaries for procs per second, which is the total number of tasks created per second and C switches per second, which is the total number of context switches per second. Below, there's a detailed chart to view and sort the data. And that's how to access and use the Systat System Activity Report in the CWP Admin Panel. We hope you found this tutorial useful. Thank you for using Control Web Panel.